What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, guys, yes, we did it. We got ourselves six badges. Six easy badges. Well, we got ourselves another badge after ten months. Look at that, the jet badge. Over the lovely, mm, 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 Skyla. And, uh, well, in this episode, we're going to be going somewhere new. Somewhere that, you know, I never thought that I would be going to because, you know, I've been lazy with this walkthrough. We're going to be traveling with Skyla and Professor Juniper to a new location here in the Unova region. And, well, looks like Professor's reached a stopping point in her investigation. Ready to hop aboard on my plane? Yes, I will. Okay. And Professor Juniper is going to be like, okay, Skyla, we're ready. Please take us to Lentimus Town. And, well, would you look at that? Our BFF, our Biffle. She's like, wait! You guys, wait, 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 wait. I want to fly too. I want to do some research, uh, or some research in Reversal Mountain. <laughs> and uh, well, Professor Oaks or Professor Juniper is gonna be like, Bianca, you're here. You're starting, uh, you're starting to show the dedication of a serious researcher these days. Okay, everyone is off to Lentimus Town. And Skyler's like, hey, it looks like everyone's here. Finally, it's time to fly the Unova skies. And look at this, guys. Holy buckets. We are going on a goddamn plane. We're going in a plane. Holy crud. Wow. This this is new. This is this is brand new. Wow. <laughs> I am really appreciating this. So here it is guys, the newest town, Lentimus Town. Well, I suppose I should tell you why I brought you out here. Sharon told me that a group of people calling themselves Team Plasma are planning to use the legendary Pokemon to take over the Unova region. As you may know, in the Unova region, there are two legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, Reshiram and Zekrom. But two years ago, Reshiram and Zekrom each recognized a trainer as a hero. They are following those trainers, so Team Plasma shouldn't be able to use the Dragon-type Pokemon. That's true, what could they be planning? Well, there is much oh, there is much we don't know about Reshiram and Zekrom. That's why I want to hear I want to hear what the Opalescent City gym leader Drayden uh, has to say about this. He's a dragon type gym leader, so he might know something. So, we're finally go uh, we're finally to or we're finally to the reason why I brought you here. I want you to go to Opalescent City and hear what Drayden has to say. And I I would also like you to help me uh, if something happens. Okay, all right, cool, thank you. It's really best that you not get involved with Team Plasma to start with, but still, hearing that Drayden has to say about Dragon-type Pokemon will be really interesting, and more importantly, it will help fill up your pages on the Pokedex. I'll be in the volcano just beyond here. I'm going to investigate the rumors I've been hearing about uh, a rare Fire-type Pokemon in Reversal Mountain. Huh, what kind of rare Pokemon could this be? Hmm. Anywho, Drayden, uh, yes, he, Drayden is, the, uh, is a gym leader, so unless you defeat him in Pokemon Battle, he probably won't talk to you. Okay, so yeah, that's probably what it is. So, here it is, guys, Lentimus Town, where the Rough Mountains Trail leads. I'm going to be visiting a lot of these places right here, because, yeah, this is like, it's been a while since I've been here, and this is the Master Move Tutor, and he will teach your Pokemon some Master Moves if you have blue shards, and I think I have, like, about four. So as you guys can see right here, he does have a price for every single move you have right here. And, well, we only have four blue shards. The better moves are all the way down here to ten shards. And right now I can only afford, I can afford one of these two or two of these. Or, yeah, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Now if you talk to this guy, hey trainer, I am, uh, the move I recommend for you is none other than Magic Code. Magic Code can reflect any opponent's move that lowers stats or inflicts status conditions during the turn that the move is used. But there are moves that Magic Code can't reflect, so be careful. Ah. Magic Code. So I'm pretty sure that that's like, you know, I guess that's like the, I don't know, the counter? The counter of the specialized moves and all that stuff? Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. And as you guys probably already know, I'm going to be visiting every single, I'm going to be visiting every single house right here. And I'm fine even right by a volcano, thanks to my little cl cruck rock. Okay. Cruck rock. Cruck rock. And, uh, well, let's see. Really isn't nothing. This place kind of reminds me, it kind of has a little bit of a New Mexico kind of vibes right around here. And if you talk to this lady, huh, you spoke to me. You're quite a good trainer. Okay, I like you. Take this TM 
And look at that, guys. We get ourselves the TM57 Charge Beam. Now, this move I could use for Magneto because, good gravy, switching out every single time, that's kind of like, uh, that's kind of like, you know, a mission right there. And there is nothing but beauty here. Skylight deli delivers things we don't have, which is fantastic. It is great. Anywho, let's move on right here. And, well... Let's see, what else can we find? Okay, so here we are in Reversal Mountain, and obviously we're going to be battling quite a few trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and get it started. Let's switch out Magneto, and, well, let's see. Let's go with Shedder, because, you know, Shadar hasn't battled in quite some time. And here we have a bike rider and stuff. So let's go. Speed button away. Yes, I am happy about this, guys. The speed button is here in Pokemon Y2. Yes. I, I'm excited about it because, yeah, huh. it has, uh, you know, it has been a, a big issue for me that I've been doing every single, every single battle and narrating everything. And look at this, we got our Moxie and Cheddar. Grows a little 37. That is great. The only problem is, yeah, its defense sucks. Now, what kind of Pokemon can you find here? I'm, I'm very interested. And well, let's go right ahead. Battle Adelaide. And she's coming out with a, an unpheasant. Now, that right there could be a problem, or that is a problem. So, let's go right ahead and go to Magneto. And, well, Magneto, here comes a taunt. And, well, this, well, yeah, we got protection over the the uh, desert right here, or the, yeah, the, the sandstorm. So, we're going to be switching out. Let's go with Desert Storm right here. Another Pokemon that, you know, won't be affected by any, uh, any kind of a uh, sandstorm right here. So, here we go. Another protection. Good gravy. Okay, come on. Just let us beat you. It's making us flinch. And there goes... Wow. Huh. Okay, so Magneto, come on. Finish it. And Bolt Switch for the win. There we go. I didn't even know that air... I didn't even know that air uh, cutter uh, flinches. Yeah, it makes people flinch. Huh. Anywho. Let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is a revive? Where in the heck is a revive? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. So let's go ahead and give that revive to Desert Storm and another hyper potion to this guy and this guy right here. Okay. So let us go ahead and move on. There's an item that I see right there, and here we found ourselves a full heal. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what the Pokemon are all about right here. And here we have a trapage. So, we probably could have waited a while and and found ourselves a trampage. And this guy has a arena block, so yeah, we're going to have to hit it with the brick break. Because, yeah, we don't want to battle it. And, well, let's see. It does have... Yeah, we can't be switching right here. Oh, crud baskets. Okay. So, let's go with a faint attack. And I guess it does miss against... Uh, what was it called? Uh faint attack, or it does miss against Dig. So there we go, Moxie for the win, and bam. Okay, so you, you, you're, you're going to be able to find a lot of uh, ground-type Pokemon right here, especially some steel types. And look at this, guys. We have found ourselves a Camelot. This? This is interesting. This is very interesting, because, well, I, I, I've always wanted to use Camelot. Well, I've used Camelot before, and Camelot is just like, you know, holy crud. Now, we shouldn't be battling every single one of these guys, but I kind of do. kind of want to increase the, the, the whatchamacallit, the, the experience points right here. And Gigalift grows to level 40. Congratulations there. So now we're going to be taking away the item that it's holding. And actually, we're going to be moving that. Let's go ahead and move it to Sigh of the Torrent. And they swapped uh, items right there. So let's see. If we're going right here, you're going to be finding a house down the road right here and this is the strange house holy crud okay so everything is floating and it looks like to me yes we're gonna be going up against ghost types holy buckets okay yeah we're not we're not doing that and what is here yeah this is okay so everything is god dang floating okay alrighty so I have a feeling we're going to be finding ourselves like uh, a ghost in here, so... And that assurance is going to be hitting us, and there goes Eradicate. And, yes, we're going to be increasing everything. So, let's see. What else can we find? Everything is blocked off. Huh. Yeah, and 
Wow, okay, so it's impossible to tell when this portrait was painted. So this is a haunted house, and well, here we have a bayonet. I could get bayonet. I do want to get bayonet, but there goes a shadow ball. Doesn't it really hurt us? And well, bayonet has been defeated. And yes, we're pretty much just like we're, we're pretty much battling everything because well, you know, I've never really been here before. So shatter, get your get yourself your healing. And well, let's see. Let's go right down here. And, uh, well, there might be a ghost here somewhere. I don't even know. Huh. Okay, so I see an item. And there are Pokemon called Hypno. Each one carries a pendulum that it can swing to make Pokemon uh, people drowsy. It has been said that a Hypno once hypnotized a child and took it away. Hmm, that is scary. And here we found ourselves a spell tag, which will eventually help us, uh, what was it called, uh, repel Pokemon. Now, there is a Pokemon called Darkrai in the Sinnoh region. To protect itself, it drives people in Pokemon away from terrible nightmares, which is true. It's a very peaceful Pokemon, believe it or not, which it said in its Sinnoh description, and, well, it, it's very peaceful, and, you know, the way, the reason why the way it is, is just because, you know, it's very, very timid and all that stuff, and, well, let's go right ahead and read some more books, and a lot of books uh, from other regions that's stored in tall shelf, and holy crud, okay, so everything has been moving. And, well, let's see. I'm trying to read stories. And let's see, what is this one? Some Pokemon know a move called Dream Eater. With this move, a Pokemon attacks while the target is asleep and it eats its dream. It restores the HP equal to half the damage inflicted in the target, which is true. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a Litwick. And if I remember correctly, back when I was driving x 11 I got myself a Litwick. And... That was pretty fun. That was actually, yeah, that was very, very fun of using a Litwick just because, you know, it was a new Pokemon. I remember as Draven XE711, I did a lot of stuff that wasn't really like, you know, it wasn't really cool and all that stuff. And how do we get through here? Okay, so let's see. There is an item right there that we need to get, but it's not letting us. And, well, Raticate is getting in our way, so. Sucker, sucker Punch is going to hit us, and bam, there we go. We're going to be at level 38, and it's learning Crunch. So I'm going to take away Fate Attack just because Crunch is a little stronger. And how do we... Okay, so how do we move these items right here? Hmm. I know some of you guys are like... I know some of you guys are probably yelling through your screen. It's like, God dang it, Draven, do you not know anything about this game? No, not really. And, well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a gold bat right here. So let's go ahead and run. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so we're going to be running away because, well, gold bats. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get the heck out of here because uh, we won't be able to get that item pretty soon. And, well, look at this. We are in another area. And as you guys can see, things have changed. So we're going to go through this doorway, and there is an individual right here. I thought that was a ghost or something. This guy's like, what's this? A visitor. Oh, I'm so, so so happy to meet someone else here. Could I ask you to be my opponent in a long-awaited Pokemon battle? Sure, why not? Okay, so speeding it up, and we're going to be taking on Backpacker Boone, and he's coming out with a Numel. We're going to be switching out because, well, yes, yeah, Shatter does have some pretty bad defenses right here, and... Well, Numel hitting us with a drowsy, a drowsy attack or a young attack, and there we go. And just like that, we fall asleep. So here comes Gigalift, or Sigalift, I should say, and we're going to be going straight to Magneto. And, well, let's go straight for a Bolt Switch attack. And just like this, yes, we have reached our destination by beating this guy. And this guy's like, this house, doesn't it seem like the furniture just moves itself? No! It's not, it, it, it's not me. I'm seriously not moving it. But what is? If anybody can comment down below, please let me know. And, well, let's see. There's trash. And there are Pokemon right here. And, yes, I probably messed up right now. So, let's go straight to Desert Storm right now. And, well, there's there comes the wing attack. And, well, we're going to be running away right here. So, what I'm going to do now is heal my Pokemon because I... Don't want, yeah. I don't want anybody fainting right here, especially when I at a, in a location that I just don't 
and I have no idea about. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. So, there we go. And there's nothing. Hmm. The trash is empty. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to figure out something right here. Hmm. There's nothing. I could, okay, so there's photo collections. What are these books for Pokemon to read? And chock full of Pokemon books and photo collections. Okay, so there's nothing here. And, well, the furniture, of course, is moving. And we're going to be getting attacked by more ghost at Pokemon. Not really. And crap baskets. Yeah, this guy is not going to let us live. So what's going to happen is we got to switch out our Pokemon because this is ridiculous. Okay, we need a speedy Pokemon. So we're going to go with Gigalith because it is speedy. And this... Oh, wow, well, I thought it was blocked. Oh, this is blocked. So the furniture is getting moved around. Huh. Okay, so I, 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 I think I'm starting to see what's going on right here. So, let's see. If we go down this way, this area will be opened up. And we will be finding a Solosis. That's a pretty cool Pokemon right there, too. And, huh, what's this? There's something right there. And there is a ghost. Holy crap! An everlasting dark dream. An endless dream of darkness. Dad, Mom, Abra, where are you? That is scary. So it is a ghost. Yes, there is a ghost here, guys. And, well, here comes a Duosian. And I am going to be moving away right here because that is scary as hell. And that got moved. The portrait has fallen. So now we're in the other area of this location. And if we go through this door, we will be able to find an item. And here we found ourselves a full heal. And, well, is there any, anything else that we can actually find here? No, there's nothing. So, yeah, this is uh, th th this is pretty interesting, okay? Very, very interesting. I wasn't really planning on going through this particular area. And, yes, I know that I have repels, but, again, kind of checking up on what Pokemon you can actually find. And we're going to be going down the steps yet again. Now, remember, we you can't evolve bait or not Bayonet right here. Actually, Bayonet's a pretty good ghost-type Pokemon if you want to be all strategic and stuff. And some... Okay, so some areas got moved around. Look at that. So we can't go through here. Huh. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm kind of confused right now. Let's see. There we go. And... Oh, look at that. Okay, so if we go down here... What is this? Okay, so that's not that's not right. And here we found ourselves a Raticade. And you know what? Screw it. I hate Raticade. Go with a side beam attack, and there we go, Raticade. That's right. They're just pests. And well, if you grab this, you found yourselves a Dust Stone. So that is a very rare item. I'm just trying to figure out, like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, like. Okay, what, what this whole place means, because yes, we met a ghost. We literally met a ghost, guys, and yeah. <laughs> How many times have we met a ghost? Now, if you go around yet again, things will be back in its particular order, I believe. Oh yeah, it is, okay. Never mind, okay, so... I think there was a room right here that we couldn't go to in the beginning, so let's go right ahead and check it. Down the middle, and the ghost is a reappearing. In a dark dream, I heard my dad's voice. Forget about it, lunar, the lunar wing. Please stay here with me. Huh. So they're talking about the lunar wing. As many of you guys already know, last week we've actually went through a lunar wing situation. And here we found ourselves a lunar wing. And would you look at this? The ghost is going to reappear on us. Oh, the lunar wing. I can't take it now. But it'll be okay. Please return the wing to the Pokemon. I was waiting on the bridge so I could return to myself. Hmm. Okay, so it is a ghost. And, well, yeah, okay. So I guess, I, I, I guess we have figured out the whole thing. Wow, that right there was an experience in itself. And, uh, well, it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. Okay, time to get the F out of here because Good God. 
Anywho, here we are in Reversal Mountain, and we're going to be heading back home. Or not home, but we're going to be going back to the Pokemon Center because, well, yes. And, well, would you look at this? We found ourselves two Driplims. And, well, we're going to, yes, we're going to we're gonna mess with them right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and battle these guys. Okay, so there's one. Here's two. Here's three. And so one of them is going to return. We're going to... Switch out to Shador right here, and Shador is going to be ready to kick some butt, take some names, and well, everybody's getting hit by the Sandstorm, and Gigliff is recovering, and here we go again with another Psybeam, and here comes a Crunch Attack, and for the win, that's how we do it, alrighty. Psy grows to level 39, here comes a Hex Attack, and there goes Gigliff, and yes, Aftermath kills us, and well, only one man is standing, okay. So, anywho, guys, that was a very interesting episode in the next... Oh, crap, I just... Okay, so here we go, Adino. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get some more experience points on this guy right here. As many of you guys already know, Adino is a Pokemon that... If you find it... Well, it's a very rare Pokemon, but once you find it, you beat it, you get a butt-ton of experience points. And trust me, there's a reason why they're, like, super rare, because, well, yeah. And, well, there we go. We had defeated Adino. So like I was saying, guys, in the next episode, we're going to be going through, I guess, the Reversal Cave or something like that. But that was a very interesting episode. Very, very interesting. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we go through all of this whole place again. See you guys.